And nothing is too good for my little Adelaide, the daughter of the mayor of Friedensdorf. And the richest and the most important man as well. <laughs> oh, well, yes. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Adelaide. Yeah, uh, uh, Pastor, let me give you a hand with that. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Somehow it seems to get heavier every year. Uh, yes, well, the nativity scene is an important part of our Christmas celebration, and we all must do our part, even the mayor. Papa, let's go! Yes, of course, dear. Sorry, Pastor, that's all the help I can be for now. I have a date with my favorite daughter. I'm your only daughter, Papa. Uh, uh, yes, well, of course, that's right. Care for a paper this evening, Mayor? It's a special edition. Only two days to Christmas, you know. Uh, thank you, Brigetta. Uh, Christmas news is always good news. Uh, keep the change. Why, I thank you, Mayor. Got a bit of the Christmas spirit yourself, I see. I suppose I do, Brigetta. I suppose I do. <laughs> Come, Father. Uh, yes, yes, of course, dear. Good evening, Carla. Could you use a hand with that? I surely could, Brigetta. The village looks wonderful. Everyone seems to be decorating this year. Everyone except... Lonely Hans, it's the same every year. Good evening, Hans. Christmas is coming soon, or haven't you noticed? <laughs> the quicker it comes, the quicker it can be over and done with. Goodness, Hans, I don't understand why you hate Christmas so much. And I do not understand why you love Christmas so much. So that makes us even. I love everything about it. Lighting the Advent candles, the holiday food, the church celebrations, the joyful Christmas spirit in the village. I even love buying Christmas presents from my family. This year, I'm buying my wife a warm winter coat. And <laughs> my daughter has a list a mile long. Well, I have no family. Don't you have something better to do than to sit around here soaking up all my heat? You do not have to be rude, Hans. I can take a hint. It was not a hint! All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> and what do you want? Are you here for a Christmas handout, too? Well, do not bother, Aldo. Christmas is just another excuse to be greedy, and I will not be part of it! What? Who is there? Care for a newspaper, Hans? I have one left. Can you not see I have work to do? I do not have time to read a newspaper. The bakery has the most wonderful sweet cakes. You should buy one to serve to your Christmas guests. You know as well as I do that no one ever visits me. Not now, and certainly not at Christmas. Ah, each year I keep hoping things will change for you, Hans. I truly hope you have a Merry Christmas anyway. What do you know? You're just a stupid bird. Now what? What do you want? Is that any way to greet your mayor, Shoemaker? I'm very sorry, Your Honor. I thought you were that old woman. <laughs> what? I did not mean to say that you were an old woman. I mean, you are certainly not old. <laughs> uh, never mind all that. We are here on the most important business. Mr. Mayor, how may I be of service? I am searching for the perfect Christmas gift for my darling Adelaide. I doubt that we will find such a gift here, Papa. <laughs> Nevertheless, we must look at all possibilities. Show us your finest wear, shoemaker. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, but I've not made a new pair of shoes for quite some time. Most of my business is repairing old shoes for the people of the village. 
Come, Papa. We're wasting our time here. You see, Aldo? Now I have lost a sail. <laughs> you are right, Aldo. I should have offered to make a pair of shoes for the mayor's daughter with that fine red leather I have been saving. But it's too late now. The mayor will find his gift somewhere else. The mayor! He's back! Mr. Mayor, I am so glad you came back. Good evening, Hans. Oh, it is only you, Gretchen. Yes, it is only me. But today I have business for you. What is this? Can you believe it, Hans? Someone threw away these perfectly good shoes. These shoes belong in the trash. They're hopeless. Oh, I was hoping you could work your magic on them. Oh, I want to have them cut down and repaired for my granddaughter, Elsa. They will be her Christmas present. It would take no less than a miracle to repair these shoes. But I can pay. Pay? What can you pay, Gretchen? This is the finest bundle I have. I was saving it for Elsa and myself, but I would like you to have it. Twigs won't buy my supper, you know that? Please, Hans. I know a bundle of twigs is not much payment for your fine work, but it is all I have, and Elsa so needs the shoes. It is for a gift. I was hoping to appeal to your Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit? More like greedy spirit, you mean? Everyone is so worried about Christmas gifts. No one has ever given me a gift, and especially not at Christmas. Hans, I'm surprised at you. Christmas is about more than presents. Not from what I see. Gifts at Christmas are a symbol of the celebration of God's great gift. See? Nothing but gifts. But Hans, God gave us the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, born in Bethlehem to be the savior of the world. Isn't that worth celebrating? Well, yes, but... Well, good night, Hans. Hans? Hans? <gasps> Who are you? What do you want? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. This cannot be happening. Is this... I, I mean, are you a real... Hans, you can be happy that Christmas is coming this year. Not you too. This must be a nightmare. For on this Christmas, you will receive a special gift. No one would be silly enough to buy me a gift. I hate gifts. This gift will be above all others. It will be a gift from God. A gift from God? To me? Morning, Frederick. Morning, Brigetta. Where do they sell the finest gifts in the village? I must buy a present for someone very special. Well, how about the bookbinder right across the street? Thank you, Brigetta. Wonderful idea. Hans, how nice to see you out and about. What can I do for you? I must have the very best gift in your shop, Gustav. Oh, how about this lovely painting? One of a kind, you know. No, no, no. It's nice, but I must have your very best. Oh, this sculpture is perfect. It seems to be real, does it not? No, I think I've seen it somewhere before. Don't you have something different, something beautiful and exciting and, and special? Come, Hans. I have just the thing. But that's just a simple box. Think so? <laughs> Watch this.
It, it, it's amazing. Papa, look! Oh, Mr. Mayor, Adelaide, how lovely to see you. Gustav, what is this? Why, it is... That is my gift, Papa. I want that music box. No, wait, I want to buy it. Here, Gustav, you can have all of my money. Whatever he has, Gustav, I will pay more. But, but... Sorry, Hans. <laughs> oh, Papa! Uh, how about one of these other music boxes, Hans? Uh, this one is nice. You don't understand, Gustav. It must be the very best. I will keep looking. Please, let me help you with that. Gretchen, you like to exchange gifts at Christmas, don't you? Yes, if they are given in the right spirit. Well, what gift would you give to someone very special? Oh, that depends on who it is, Hans. Well, um, it is God, actually. What would you give to God for Christmas? I would give him what I give him every day. My sins for his pardon, my weakness for his strength, my sorrow for his joy. Well, that is not exactly what I had in mind. Think about it, Hans. Ponder it in your heart. You will know what to do. That's it. Thank you, Gretchen. Elsa, you have saved the day. By the way, Merry Christmas! Angels sing glory to the newborn king. Along the mercy, mild, lovely, reconciled. Joyful, all ye nations cry, join the king among the skies. Ah! Aldo, my friend, I was hoping you would come today. Hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. You're right, Aldo. It's been too long since I've sung a Christmas song. I'll tell you a little secret. I have forgotten some of the words. <laughs> but at Christmas, who cares? Just as long as we sing. <laughs> Take a look, my friend. This is the finest leather in the land. I've saved it for many years for just such an occasion. I know it is small, but it is the best. I will make something wonderful with it. Silver nails, all handmade by my father. And these silver bells are from my very first Christmas tree. They make me so happy. I'm making a gift, Aldo, a Christmas gift. I know what you're thinking, but I've been told that this year I will receive a gift, a very special gift, and I must have one just as special to give Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how I wonder what Hans is doing in there. I hear he's making a gift for a king. Oh, my, a king? Aldo, I am nearly finished. You are so impatient. Now, they are done. They're even better than I'd hoped. I want everyone to see my special gift, the red boots for Christmas. Make way, make way for the mayor. Let me through, please, let me through. Those are the most beautiful boots I've ever seen. That is the gift, Papa. That is what I want for Christmas. The red boots. Uh, yes, of course, dear. Then you shall have them. Shoemaker? Yes, Mayor. How may I help you this fine Christmas Eve? Oh, you are a sly one, Shoemaker. Christmas Eve indeed. I do not understand, Mr. Mayor. I have not made a new pair of shoes for quite some time, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> you knew I would not find a gift as magnificent as these boots anywhere in Friedensdorf, so you waited until Christmas Eve to get the price up. So, what is your price? I am sorry, Mayor, but these boots are not for sale. They are a gift. Papa! Of course they are a gift. A gift for my Adelaide. Now name your price. No. 
The boots are not for sale, not at any price. <gasps> well, let's go. Yeah. I think I left a teapot boiling. This is not over, Shoemaker. I mean to have those boots. I could not give up the red boots, Aldo. They are my gift to God. A letter earth receive a king. Let of every heart prepare the improve. And heaven to sing, and heaven and heaven to sing, and heaven and heaven and heaven to sing. Not yet, Aldo. These sweet cakes are for my special visitor. I must prepare the very best. <laughs> I do not think our guest will mind if you have just one little sweet cake. Do you, Aldo? <coughs> soon, Aldo. Very soon. It is finally Christmas Eve, and we have everything ready. From God, our heavenly Father, a blessed angel king, and unto certain shepherds the tidings of the Maybe it's time. <laughs> oh, it is only you, Frederick. I'm happy to see you too, Hans. I brought you a present, a Christmas present. Stamps, how useful. Merry Christmas, Hans. You must be freezing. Come in and warm yourself by my fire. I know I was a little gruff with you the other day. I did not mean to be. Oh my, my, you really have gotten the Christmas spirit, Hans. Well, actually, I'm expecting someone. I brought you a present, Hans. Tomorrow's Christmas newspaper. Now you won't have to go out in the cold to get one. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Oh, I wondered what smelled so delicious. Christmas Eve dinner. I fixed it myself. Please, come in and join us. Here, sit down. Be my guests. <coughs> it is okay, Aldo. We have plenty. Come and join us, Hans. I guess I will. It is still early. My guest should arrive soon. Guest? Who are you waiting for? There he is. Don't go away. You will be amazed. Hans, Merry Christmas. I brought you a present, one of my special calendars. Mayor, uh, uh, thank you, Mayor, but it, it's really not necessary. And about today, I, well, it, see, it's just... You don't have to explain, Hans. I, I know my little Adelaide is a bit spoiled, but what am I to do? She is my only daughter. All I can offer you is some Christmas Eve dinner. Why, thank you, Hans. I never turn down the gift of a meal. Aren't you going to join us? Someone must say grace, and it is your dinner. When I was a child, we used to sing a special grace at Christmas. From heaven above to earth I come To bring good news to everyone Glad tidings of great joy I bring To all the world and gladly sing To you this night is born a child A merry chosen virgin mild this newborn child of lowly birth shall be the joy of all the earth. Thanks for the wonderful meal, Hans. It was the best I've had in a long time. I would have been too tired to cook after such a hard day. It was truly a special treat. It was delightful, Shoemaker, but I must run. I want to get ready for midnight worship at the church, you know. <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed your company. No, Aldo, I must have missed my special gift. But it was a lovely evening, after all. Way, Aldo. Oh, it is you again. 
Have you come to tell me more stories? I did not get my special gift as you promised. I had everything ready. I decorated, built a warm fire, and cooked a goose. And I made the red boots especially. Let me help you understand, Hans. Giving gifts at Christmas can be a fine custom, as you have learned from your friends. But the real message of Christmas is God's gift of His Son, born a baby in Bethlehem. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Yes, yes, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. I understand now. That is the real gift. such a wonderful gift from God this Christmas, Aldo. This is the least I can do. A blessed Christmas to you, Hans. Thank you. Merry Christmas. But, Papa! This is what Christmas is all about, Adelaide. We give to each other because God has given us the greatest gift of all. Savior, which is Christ the Lord. He will 